Thank you all for letting me come today and talk to you. Um, Tom Atkins from Kindred Hospital. It's a long-term acute care. We'll go over a little bit of that um, as we go ahead. Um, uh, I, too, have been uh, plagued by the mold, and the, uh, so occasionally I start coughing. So if I start doing that, I'm sure I'm in good company. I'll understand that. Um, and occasionally I'll lapse into some memory problems too. So if I, if I say I'm going to do something and I forget to do it, remind me. When I'm doing a presentation, I like to be able to be interactive. So feel free to stop, throw up a hand if I'm not making sense or if you've got a question. What I was going to do is start by talking about um, a little bit about what long term acute care hospitals are and how that might have some relevance. Hopefully not, but it might have some relevance to you guys. Or people that you know, um, and but so that you're informed of what we do. And then as we go through that, um, there's some relationship between what we do and the health reform, and I know a little bit about that, and we can talk a little bit about that and compare notes uh, if you like, and uh, or ask other questions. So we'll start. Um, I'm not the best. PowerPoint guy either, so I don't know how to take this off the side. But does everybody have the PowerPoint? It's a two-page that begins with this. I give you one in front of most everybody. We've got a bigger group than I thought, so I don't want to a third. So that, that's, that's one page, but we have to we'll have to go through it here. So that, that's one, one part of the handout. There are two other parts. There's this, this sheet of uh, photographs, which I'll get to after the PowerPoint, and there's this. And then we'll talk a little bit about that. Just about some awards that we won. A little bit about what long-term acute care, care hospitals are before we actually go to the pages. Um, long-term acute care hospitals are specialty care hospitals. They're transitional care hospitals. Um, there were none of those, this type of hospitals in Richmond prior to 2007. Um, my company is the oldest provider, Kindred, uh, in the country. We have 125 hospitals and many other systems that provide them, both big and small. Um, if you're thinking about a specialty care hospital, other specialty care hospitals you might be more familiar with. Children's Hospital, Specialty Care Hospital, specializes in children. Uh, Tucker Pavilion, Specialty Care Hospital, specializes in psychiatric disorders. Um, Health Science, Sheltering Arms, uh, John Stavulis Rehab, a rehabilitation hospital. It's not nursing homes, but hospitals that specialize in rehabilitation. Our type of hospital is none of those, but in that they are in that category. And what we specialize in is critically, critical care patients. Patients that come from, very often, 99% oh, of the time, they come from other hospitals to us. So we're referral-based. Um, either the doctor, the case manager, or the families, uh, those are the three patients. Patient referrals, self-referrals, doctor referrals, case manager referrals are the three biggest ways that patients come into our awareness. Um, what we specialize in is as I say, is critical care patients. So these are patients that usually are coming to us from a, an ICU. We have a big range of types of patients that we, we take and help. Um, we'll only focus today mostly on the respiratory type of patients and not so much the other patients. So I've gone through my slides and tried to minimize that I didn't want to kill so many trees so that we can focus on more than the respiratory. But we see respiratory patients, wound patients, and severe wounds. We're talking about you know, big, big wounds that need over an hour of care a day. Um, multiple antibiotic infectious disease patients, so pulmonary infections fall in that. Um, uh, cardiac patients, a variety of cardiac disorders. Rest, uh, um, what we call medical, uh, medically complex patients. That's sort of a catch-all category. It could be post-surgical patients, trauma patients. It could be post uh, uh, people with end stage disorders with other comorbidities that need a hospital level of care, which is defined basically by needing a doctor's visit every day. That's what acute care really means. So that's sort of an you know, overview of what we do. So what we'll do is just sort of step through 
Please, can everybody see that? Or have you seen you got otherwise you've got yours in front? I don't I don't know. Usually this should be bigger. I don't know how to do it. It's on the top. That's the top. You should be able to get it on the top. Yeah, I, I, I failed that in college. <laughs> is this where I is this see where it says slideshow? Yeah. To the right? To the to your that's already up. Yeah. Alright, so if I do this inside of mine, I'm afraid to hit this button. Yeah. Right. Oh, you want to hit it? We might lose it all together. Yeah. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what, we're just gonna go with this. You got the hand that's right. Yeah, I'm in healthcare, not in IT, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, there you go. That's why they call this a sports event, right? Long-term acute care hospital. What we do is we specialize in the treatment of medically complicated ex uh, extended care patients. Extended care patients. Most people who come into a hospital come and go within three to five days. Um, if they usually don't need extended care uh, or like to stay. About 3% of the, the patients that are, 3 to 4% of the patients that come to a hospital, any short-term acute care hospital, need extended hospitalization. And in the context of long-term acute care hospitals, that really means approximately, more or less, 25-day length of stay. Um, years ago, um, lots of smaller hospitals, before we came along, were put out of business because they have longer stay patients. And the way the government pays for things, they don't cover longer stay patients in a short stay hospital. So if you think of, as, Everybody, raise a hand if you've heard of a bell curve. Uh, a bell curve, but okay, most people have. There, there, there's an at the top of the bell curve is an average. So if, if you have a respiratory di disorder, let's just generalize. Most people will fall in that top of the curve, and they, those people will be able to be discharged within that frame. But there's some people who can go home earlier because they do better. And there's some people who stay longer because they're not doing as well. They may have more comorbidities, they may have more advances in their, in their illness, and, and they may stay longer. So uh, years ago, about 20 years, almost 20 years ago now, uh, CMS, or back then it was the Healthcare Financing Organization, HICFA, uh, CMS is the Center for Medicaid and Medicare Services, we just heard that, set up this type of hospital so we could add value to the short-term hospitals, help them out, while having a specialty care hospital that just focuses on extreme cases and situations. So the old the belief being is if you specialize in something and you only do a few things, you should be able to do that better. So that, that's how we came along. Stop me if there's any questions. Sometimes I'll just go off into La La Land and you know you gotta, you gotta wheel me back in, okay? Um, licensed acute care hospital, we are a hospital. Joint commission, every every hospital is joint commission approved, but it's not only hospitals. Um, CMS is again that's CM um, regulated, that's the Center for Medicaid and Medicaid Service. Medicaid Service. With us, our average length to stay for Medicare patients on the course of a year has to be 25 days or more. The reason we do that, the reason they do that, is because they don't want us competing but to help the short-term hospitals. So we're not attracting patients or waving ambulances in. We're out here for the patients that are on the other <coughs> side of that bell curve those long-stay patients that are hurting the hospital financially and that they don't have expertise in them, that we're, we're helping um, with that group of folks. Um, so, so again, usually from a short-term hospital, it's from a med surgery or ICU level. What does LOS stand for? Length of stay. Sorry. So, um, Okay, and I, and I put this uh, in probably several times, so there are probably a couple of those acronyms that you might want to call them. Clinical conditions require physician assessment or intervention daily. That is the definition of acute care. 
uh, requires six or more hours of nursing care per day. That's a minimum level of nursing care that we have, which is equivalent to a step-down unit, out of step ICU, highest level of care, step-down floor. Um, so we're, we plug in at the step-down level. Uh, requires specialized high technology equipment. Uh, other services are not available at lower levels of care, such as a skilled nursing facility or a rehab hospital. So we're higher level of care than a rehab hospital or a, certainly a skilled nursing facility, a nursing home. Uh, we are a hospital and we fit in at that level of the step down, ICU, step down in. Step down using the Chippenham uh, surge or step down using unit at Chippenham over to a, an LTAP. STACs, like Chippenham or MCV, are short term acute care hospitals. We are a long term acute care hospital. Um, so, I don't know if this is good. Oh, there's a laser beam coming. Everybody's in trouble now. <laughs> um, right, so the STAT, um, what they do and they specialize is in, in rescuing patients. You make them emergency room. Patients come to emergency room. They've got something going on. They're grasping their heart. They can't breathe. They can't think. They're bleeding from someplace. So they're rescuing them. They're stabilizing them, trying to stop the, the immediate problem. And, and then they diagnose, they're trying to figure out what's going on. So there's a series of tests and scans and probing and you know, things that go on. It's a fury of a furious activity for several days. Um, then they establish a treatment plan. Um, once that happens, um, you know, that's usually at the point that most people can be discharged. Um, so the length of stay, the average length of stay for this type of hospital is really about four to six days. Um, these are just sort of, this is for another presentation, but this is really means diagnostic related group. When I talk about that bell curve, every illness or diagnosis has a number. These two are ventilators. Um, less than 96, or more than 96 hours, less than 96 hours. So people on ventilators support. So these, these are some of the things that we do from another presentation. All right, so this is an STAT patient. What we do is we take that treatment plan for patients that go beyond the length of stay, and we implement a treatment plan. So our expertise is patients that stay.